Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about a vintage. I had to go in the, my arsenal of fragrances and pull out one over 50 years old. And this is none other than Mysteri de Rocus. I don't know what that 85 degree mean on there, if that's what that is. And then you might be able to see that it was Rocus Paris. Let's get a little reminder here. Really good. Mysterious too. I would say this is probably what a vampire would wear. But anyway, I'm gonna get some notes here. Just to give you an idea. It's an EDP. Um, it's an aromatic green fragrance launched in 1978 it's 30 this here is a 30 mil size um nicholas mamunas it was the perfumer it's a uh, gut bantam so that's reason for the green note in there. there's coriander hyacinth there are over 27 notes inside of here as well as jasmine rose de my actual real my scent Mysore sandalwood, which you won't find anymore. They, they've long since outlawed it in the U.S., but if you can score you a bottle of 50 years or more, you will probably have the real deal Mysore sandalwood. Uh, opium could give this a run for its money if you could score a 50, 60-year-old bottle back then. This is long-lasting. Uh, it's alamalic uh, crepe. It's most beautiful fragrance created, in my opinion. Um, the con side to this is it, it's discontinued, so you won't be able to probably get your hands on this. But I just thought I'd pull it out just to add uh, excitement to the channel to show you something um, that I have in the arsenal. And this is gonna be just a short video. And this is for women but I have it and I wear it sometimes when I'm watching a horror movie, actually. It was, like I said, it's a vampire. And I'm a huge fan of horror movies, so. Vampires, here's to you. Mystery, which it is a very mysterious scent, in my opinion. Uh, stay tuned for another video where I'm gonna talk to you about uh, my fragrance haul, which I made a pretty big haul, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna talk about them individually. The next one, I'm gonna, in the next video, I'm gonna talk to you about Roja Dubs, Tia Moore, which is a beautiful scent too, it's powdery. This could, in my opinion, can be a little powdery too. Uh, this has very good projection, longevity, very good. Um, that, look how dark that juice is. Man, odd shape top. Uh, I guess that's what they did back in 1978. So that's what this is. So, hey, keep smelling good. See you in the next video. If this is the type of content that you like, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. It'll help the channel. See you in the next video. Bye.